What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here's my fantasy football advice for NFL Week 9. This fantasy football advice is for informational purposes only. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you a sleeper and a stud for each position. And if you stay to the very end after all my picks and after I show you the Draft Dashboard tools, I'll give you my super secret sleeper pick that no one's talking about. At quarterback, I like Cam Newton for the Carolina Panthers facing the Tampa Bay Bucks, who are the absolute worst defense overall and give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Cam Newton has scored 28, 26, and 24 fantasy points over the last three games, averaging 25.1 fantasy points per game on the season. And more impressive, he's run the ball nine times per game, 10 rushes last game. Cam Newton is by far my favorite quarterback pick on the slate for week nine. Okay, now for a low salary quarterback that may fly under the radar. I like Joe Flacco for the Baltimore Ravens facing the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are the ninth worst defense overall and give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Joe Flacco has scored 11, 20, and 13 fantasy points in the last three games, which is not that encouraging but he is averaging 17.7 fantasy points per game on the season. He's playing at home, and he'll need to be throwing touchdowns to have any chance to beat the Steelers here in Week 9. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all our DFS tools for NFL, and the tools for NBA are awesome. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Okay, let's take a look at some running backs. My stud running back this week is Kareem Hunt for the Kansas City Chiefs facing the Cleveland Browns who are the 10th worst defense overall and give up the 5th most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Kareem Hunt has scored 20, 37, and 33 fantasy points in his last 3 games, averaging 21.4 fantasy points per game on the season with an average of 20 touches per game. Kareem Hunt should have no problem finding the end zone once again here in week 9 versus the Browns. Now for a low salary running back, I like Nick Chubb for the Cleveland Browns facing the Kansas City Chiefs. Chubb has worked his way to the lead running back in Cleveland. He scored 10 and 14 fantasy points in the last two games on 20 touches per game in the last two games. Nick Chubb has a great matchup versus the Kansas City Chiefs who are the fourth worst defense overall and give up the second most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Although the game script may dictate the Browns throw the ball more than run it, Nick Chubb is still low salary for a high volume player who will only need one score to hit value. Okay, who do we have at wide receiver? I have to go with Adam Thielen for the Minnesota Vikings. This guy is annoying, honestly. He's burnt anyone who hasn't played him week after week. It's annoying, but hard to ignore at this point. Adam Thielen has scored 27, 29, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 28.4 fantasy points per game on the season on 12.3 targets per game. That is ridiculous consistent production. I don't even want to play Adam Thielen this week, but I have to. Can't risk another 30 fantasy point game that knocks me out. I liked Stefan Diggs in favor of Thielen last week, and Diggs actually did score four more fantasy points than Thielen at a much lower price. I don't mind that same pivot once again here in week 9. I just want to remind you guys to please like and subscribe to this channel. We do a ton of content. We put out videos every single day for NFL and NBA. So please hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified when we post our new videos. For my wide receiver sleeper pick, I like Willie Sneed. Once again, low salary playing for the Baltimore Ravens facing the Pittsburgh Steelers who are the 8th worst defense overall and give up the 3rd most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Willie Sneed has scored 10, 7, and 13 fantasy points in the last 3 games, averaging 10.5 fantasy points per game on the season in 7.6 targets per game, plenty of opportunity to score. 
He's hit value almost every week. Willie Sneed is one of my favorite low salary wide receivers in week nine. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. My tight end stud in week nine is Jordan Reed for the Washington Redskins facing the Atlanta Falcons who are the third worst defense overall and a little worse than middle of the pack defending opposing tight ends. Pay up for Travis Kelsey if you have the salary, but I feel like Jordan Reed is bound to have a breakout game. He scored 11 fantasy points off of 12 targets last game, which was encouraging that he was so involved, but disappointing in terms of production. He was a few catches away from a big game. I think Jordan Reed rebounds here in week 9 versus the Falcons. If you need a lower price tight end, take a look at OJ Howard for the Tampa Bay Bucks playing the Carolina Panthers who are about middle of the pack in terms of overall defense but they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. OJ Howard has scored 17, 12, and 16 fantasy points in the last three games. Defining his role as the number one tight end, he's doing his damage in only five targets per game. This matchup can't get any better. I like OJ Howard versus the Panthers here in week nine. If you wanna try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. You've unlocked the bonus content. My super secret sleeper for week nine is Jakeem Grant for the Miami Dolphins facing the New York Jets who are the 12th worst defense overall and give up the 7th most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Jakeem Grant will get a bump in usage with Albert Wilson out again in week 9. Jakeem Grant scored 8 fantasy points off of 8 targets last week and will look to find the end zone here in week 9 versus a porous New York Jets backfield. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for week 9. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.